Hi guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by. Today's video is a DIY glam memo board. I made this with things that I had on hand. And if you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. It's coming up next. I've had this old frame laying around for forever and a day. Um, it's lost its glass, so it's just a frame. And it's a good sturdy frame. Um, I think I got it at Goodwill. Can't be 100% sure. But instead of it sitting there taking up space, I've decided to play games with it. So what I have is the frame. I have some white acrylic paint. I have some pearl white metallic paint. Not sure if I'm going to use the metallic or not. I have cork tiles. And I got these at Walmart, I can't tell you how many years ago. To be honest with you, I don't even know if they still carry it. Um, but I do know that Lowe's um, carries it. And maybe Joanne's and Michael's, I'm not sure. Okay, I've got some Mod Podge. I've got glitter. <laughs> Big surprise. Um, I have some extra fine crystal diamond. And this is a holographic fine glitter that I got at Walmart. And this is the Selen Party Blend, which basically means it's chunky. And it's called Sunny Surprise, and it's also a hologram. I have a piece of lace. And I've got some paint brushes. Mod Podge, of course. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is make a pattern for the frame and cut it out of um, the cork board. Because, like I said, this doesn't have uh, any glass to use as a pattern. So I'm just going to take a piece of paper on the back and keep playing with it until I get it the right size. Okay, I took a piece of printer paper and I kept folding it until I got it so that it fits right down in there just right. And then I used this as a pattern on the cork sheet, but I cut the cork just a little bit smaller because this does have... Um, a little bit of a thickness to it so it takes up a little more room I used um, an exacto knife to cut this and it's going to fit in there nicely it's going to be nice and snug um, okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the cork and I'm going to paint the frame in the white Okay, this did take um, two coats to give this a good coverage. Um, I guess because it was metallic gold and silver underneath, I don't know for sure. Um, this cork took three coats. The uh, cork keeps wanting to show through. But this is just about dry and I think it's going to be good. So I'm going to let this completely dry, let this dry, and I have decided I'm definitely going to put a coat of the pearl on top of this once it's totally dry. Just because I want it to seal, and metallics seal so well. Okay, I put uh, one really good coat of the satin, um, the pearl finish on the frame, and I put one on the cork. And after this dries, then I'll get busy with the next step. Okay, the cork is nice and dry. So I'm going to put a layer of Mod Podge all over this cork. And then I'm going to, um, and I'm going to put a decent, um, decent amount on here. But then I'm going to press the lace in. And I'm not going to trim it off until it's dry. 
because I'm I don't think it will but I think they're I mean why take the chance of it shrinking because that would just ruin the finished look and I don't know if you can tell or not that I do um, have this on kind of thick I mean it's not incredibly thick but there's definitely enough for the lace to sink into and it doesn't really matter if I put it on thick or not because um, it's going to dry. It's just going to take longer. And the nice thing about that satin paint is that when the light hits it, you can tell what the Mod Podge has been on. Okay. And I don't know if you can tell, this is an old piece of lace that I've had for ever. And I'm just going to use this paintbrush to help push this into the Mod Podge. And it's also going to help to get wrinkles out and any bubbles that might be under there. And I may put another coat on top of the lace once this dries. But I'm just going to leave this undisturbed until Let's it dries. see if I can tilt it up just a little bit for you to see it a little better. And the roses and that lace is just coming through so nicely. Just push that lace right into that Mod Podge. And like I said, I'm not going to trim this lace until it's completely dry. Because I don't want to take any chances of it shrinking. And no, it's not an optical illusion. This is a cream color lace. So the white is going to show through. So you can see the pattern a little bit better. Okay, to um, work on the frame, what I'm going to do is take some of this um, holographic, very fine glitter. And to that, I'm going to add the chunky holographic glitter. And I'm mixing them up very well. Now to this, I'm going to add Mod Podge. And I'm going to actually make it into a glitter glue. And this is the stuff I usually use, and it's the glossy. could probably use a little more of the chunky because usually I can see it after I mix Mod Podge in with it oh yes yes that is much better okay and all I'm gonna do is um, Use a paintbrush and just apply it. And once this is dry, if it needs any more of either the fine or the chunky glitter, I'll just add a little more Mod Podge and gently sprinkle it on. But by doing it this way, 
it turns into a glitter glue. And when it's a glitter glue, you don't have to worry about it shaking off and having to take it outside and spray paint it. And it just dries the way it is. And the more it dries, the more intense these colors will, or the more intense the holographic will look. So I'm going to finish this up and let it dry, and we'll be back when that's done. Okay, this uh, cork has finally dried. So all I'm going to do is trim it off. And I'm going to keep it as close to the cork as I can. And there it is, all nice and trimmed up. And I'm going to put this in the frame. But I'm seriously thinking about doing a little extra. I'll be back. Well, I found some really pretty ribbon in my stash. And for the life of me, I don't remember where I got it. I, I think it was Walmart, but could have been Joann's too. Um, but I've got this ribbon. And I've got some thumbtacks, plain, ordinary thumbtacks, and some Aurora Borealis gems. And I got these in a huge pack from uh, Joanne Fabrics. And that will go right over top of the thumbtack and hide the silver. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be gluing that to this after it's put in place. Now I'm going to put this on here but I'm not going to adhere it to the edges because um, I don't know how much of it is going to go into the frame. Okay, I'm going to use hot glue just to um, keep this in place, but I'm not going to use very much. Just enough to hold it. And I'm going to go from corner to corner. And after I get this in place, um, the thumbtacks will hold it. And I'm actually not going to put that much ribbon on this. Just enough to give it a little character. And I'm trying to keep this even with this. I cannot believe that I had just enough ribbon to finish that off and that leftover. So that's a little bit more out of the stash that I'm using up. Okay, um, now I'm just going to put one of these thumbtacks right in the center where they join. And I'm going to do that pretty much all over. But I think I'm going to put this in the frame before I finish them out because I don't know how far up these can go. I mean, I know that I can put them here, 
but I don't know about the rest. So I'll get them in where I can. Okay, I'm going to get this in the frame and finish it up. And I love the way this frame turned out. I mean, there's just enough sparkle, glitz, and glam to keep me very happy. Okay, I got all the thumbtacks in at all the cross sections. And I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue here in the center of the thumbtack. And put one of these gems on top. And I'm going to do that for all of them. And it's all done. And all blinged out. And I really like the way my glam memo board turned out. So if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and happy creating everyone.